Good evening and thanks for watching tonight. I'm Matt Davenport. And I'm Arlise Irby. A wave of bomb threats across the country hits close to home as companies in Utah and Idaho are targeted by the hoax. KPVI News That Works For You journalist Paul Beam spoke with Rexburg Police to find out how this unprecedented level of threats has affected their community. He joins us now live from the newsroom. Paul. Thanks, Martin. Matt and Marlies. NBC reported that 21 states were affected by these threats this morning, but you can bump that a number up to 22 and add Idaho. Rexburg police were just doing their job on Thursday, not realizing an evacuation was part of a countrywide incident. Rexburg police responded to premier performance Thursday morning on a bomb threat emailed to their Salt Lake City office that did not specify the office that was targeted, but it was during their search of the building that they found out that they were not alone. Uh, while that was all going on, we also found out that uh, uh, numerous of this, uh, these same uh, emails had been received in Utah all over in to businesses that weren't even related mm -hmm. to premier performance. A multitude of emails sent out around the country put the police on notice as emails threatening businesses to send them Bitcoin hit states from coast to coast. In exchange, bombs in their office won't detonate. A bomb threat hoax in Idaho isn't unheard of, but the scale of this one is out of the ordinary. A few years ago, uh, Walmart uh, was targeted uh, and it was Walmarts all over that were receiving threats. So, you know, every once in a while, something like this gotcha. makes its way around. It's That's the first one I've heard of it on that scale. On the national scale, investigators are interested in the reference of Bitcoin and are investigating on whether it's connected to the recent crash in cryptocurrency. Someone clearly could be across the globe, maybe suffered a major financial setback in Bitcoin and thinks they can mine, extort, some cash out of someone in the U.S. The bomb threats were sent robo-style and at random, even affecting us here at KPVI as our office received the same bomb threat earlier this morning. Law enforcement says to take any of these threats seriously and to notify the police. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Paul Beam, KPVI News that works for you. Okay, thank you very much, Paul. Meanwhile